I just had to show you guys. I'm up here trying to clean my bedroom, vacuum, dust, everything. And I was over here trying to check the corner over there to get something out. And I knocked this huge mirror down. Guys, this whole thing is cracked. This is the back. As you can see, cracks all over it. So this is what the mirror looks like. It is literally cracked in every way imaginable. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out how to take this down the steps and get it outside so that way trash can take it in a few days. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. I miss your touch from your hands and your body. It hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I'm looking kind of dusty because I just got off of my cycling bike downstairs. I was up this morning at like 6.30, which I'm pretty surprised because I went to bed late last night. And I don't feel like I slept well, but I think it's just like my um, body rhythm and everything getting up for work. But um, this week has been a rough week and I barely got in any workouts. So I got in two workouts this week. So today makes my third one um, of the week. The weather is starting to get a little bit warmer outside now. We basically like skip winter over here in um, Baltimore. So I'll be hopefully doing my workouts outside and picking up my runnings now. You wanna say hi? Mm -hmm. Okay. Say hi. Uh, quick, I gotta go. <laughs> Make it quick. All right, so um, yeah, so I am getting ready now to hop in the shower, get myself together. I have a few errands to run, so I have to head out the door pretty soon. All right, guys, I am on my way now. I didn't bother doing my makeup or anything. I figured when we get ready to go, the kids have a birthday party today. So when we get ready for that, I'll just go ahead and get a little bit more like dolled up. But for now, it's okay. But I wanted to let you guys know, I don't think I may have mentioned it in my last vlog, which I haven't posted it yet, so I've missed a week. I've just been trying to get things together um, emotionally. So I had a friend of mine, close friend of mine from work. Her mom has been battling breast cancer for 10 months to like almost a year now. So she's finally passed now. And so this week we had her viewing on Wednesday and then her funeral was on Thursday. So went to both of those and that's just been a lot for um, her and her family to unpack, but because I was close to her as well, it was just, it took some emotional toll on me as well. So, um, yeah, so I'll be probably uploading two vlogs this week. That one from last week, just because I just could not get myself together to just like sit down and edit what I needed to. So you guys will get that one and then you guys will get this vlog as well. Right now I'm on my way to Marshalls and maybe TJ Maxx. I need to look for something for the birthday girl today. She's turning six years old. And then I just need to look for a few things for the house. You guys saw that my mirror <laughs> broke. So it's been kind of weird, like not kind of seeing like what I look like from like head to toe. So I want to find something, but not as big as what I had before. So hopefully I can find something. And then also, um, if you did watch my last video that I will have uploaded, hopefully by this time um, now, you will have seen that or have heard that my mom had um, another stroke. So she was at the hospital where she's from on the Eastern shore for two weeks. And then you guys know, or maybe you don't, but I'm an occupational therapist and I work at a skilled nursing facility. So she was transferred to my facility on Tuesday. So I'm really happy that they brought her earlier in the day. So I was there to literally like welcome, welcome her in the door get her settled we were able to get her a private room a really nice room and she's right by the nursing station so that way she can be attended to 
um, and make sure like they can hear her because she's got some like this Arthur issues like with her voice and everything. So, um, but yeah, I got her settled in. Um, and so it's been different with her being a little bit further away and having that impact on me versus her literally being in the building that I'm working in. So I'm not seeing her, I'm not her therapist, but she does have two excellent therapists um, that are part of our rehab team. So she's seeing OT and PT, and then she is also seeing a speech therapist, but it's been, it's been hard. Um, I'm sure more on her because this is happening to her, but just um, seeing the state that she's in right now. But overall, she really does have a good rehab prognosis. Um, I know it, and then it's also been nice that the therapists that she's working with have also confirmed that as well. And literally already in the past few days, she's making great progress as well, so. But yeah, that is what's been going on as of lately, and a reason as to why I did not upload last week. I just finished over at Marshall's and I got a lot of good finds actually and I forgot I had two gift cards so I think I had like a total of maybe like $16 that I had from like returns from like a month or two ago but they didn't have any mirrors and I thought TJ Maxx and Marshall's were like set up the same but I guess they just don't carry any so I'm gonna go ahead and go to TJ Maxx now hopefully they have one that I can kind of like vibe with we'll see y'all I'm back at the house now and I lied earlier it is chilly outside and not only chilly it is windy that's like a wig wearer's worst nightmare I'm walking around my hair is like blowing everywhere I'm trying to keep it down Thank goodness I have like the strap and everything to hold it down. So I was good, but I'm home now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. Y'all, I am so excited. This is the mirror that I got. When I walked into TJ Maxx, I just did like a quick um, run down the perimeter and I literally saw no mirrors at all. I thought I would have to go to Home Goods next door. And then I saw this bad girl in the corner. This is perfect, guys. It has an easel in the back, so I can stand it up that way or just have it leaning. So hopefully this will be a bit better having the easel so that way it doesn't break again. But I really like the style of this mirror. Here is what the side looks like. It's like a gray wooden color. You all see Elijah over there. He's working on cleaning his room, kind of, sort of. But yeah, so like this mirror, it is an 18 by 64. So definitely smaller than the other one that I had. So here's my haul from Marshall's. I went strictly to get a bag and then I had a few other things in mind. The one that I have, it's like a crossover. It's green, but there's like a smudge on it that I just can't get it off and it's right in the front. So I needed something new. So this was like further on down the aisle. The name on it is Nanette Lepore, L-E-P-O-R-E. -E. But guys, I thought this was like two bags that they were just kind of strapped together and I couldn't figure out how to take it off. And then when I got to the cash register, they told me that no, indeed, it's like a two for one special. So I got two bags for the price of one. The MSRP on here says that it's $128. And I got these girls for $39.99. So I got a large one here and then I got a smaller one for like summer wear. And then on the back over here, it's got a pocket. So very excited about this and it snaps. So, so excited about this. I have been in the market for, what are those? um cups called oh stanley cups i've been in the market for a stanley cup and then when i went to look at how much they are they are a lot of money i think like the cheapest one was like 40 dollars. so i was not about to spend 40 dollars for just a tumbler so 
Marshalls has like these lookalikes and I love the color. I love the marble on here, it's so cute. So the brand on here is like a W for wellness and it is 40 ounces. So, and this was only $16.99. So definitely save some money on there. We were in need of some coasters. So I got these um, like grayish cream marble color. A pack of four was $6.99. So I got two of them just in case we have people over and we're entertaining. And for the longest time, I've been looking for a spoon holder and I have not been able to find one. They had a few at Marshall's, but some of them were chipped. But I like that this is just like a cream color and it fits right into our kitchen theme that we have going on. So I was very happy to find this. And then last but not least, I also picked up a notepad. This is Ray Dunn. We literally ran out of what we had. I usually use them to make our grocery list either on here or on my phone. But it's just nice to have because the kids are always asking me, what's for dinner, what's for dinner? So when I write everything on here, this one over here can look and she can read to see what we're having. And then I stopped by Walgreens to pick up a birthday card for the birthday girl. Um, like I said, she's six years old. And so I got a $30 gift card from TJ Maxx while I was there and then picked this card up, which I was surprised it was $4 at Walgreens. So that was a lot more than I was expecting. It says birthdays happen only once a year. It's got pizza, a present, and a candle. And can then you, can you can see, see the pizza? Uh -huh. Well, the pizza's right here. And then the inside says, but you being a totally awesome kid, question mark, that's an everyday thing. So I thought it'd be cute from the kids. Yeah. So pick that up. And then I also wanted to get myself a perfume by Dolly Parton. So when I was getting a bunch of things together for my mom, um, I picked her up some perfume. She is a huge fan of Dolly. Be careful, please. She's a huge fan of Dolly Parton and that perfume smelled so, so good. So I got her that. So I figured I'd pick myself up one because I really liked it and go figure the last one or the one that I got her was the last one. So hopefully Walgreens restocks like sometime this week and then I can go back and see if they have it. So I'm going to save my two receipts so that way I can scan them for my Fetch app and it's about like 11.15 now, so I'm gonna go ahead, head upstairs, get my makeup and stuff done, go ahead and change, um, and so that way we can go ahead and head out the door. I went ahead and did my makeup very, very quickly. I need to get some new blush or something because it fell on the floor like two weeks ago and it cracked. Um, so I'm just using like the remains that are left in the container, but I definitely need a new one. I want to go in with this Oregon oil from Morocco. It's just my foaming mousse. And that just seems to hold the wet texture that I have going on. It doesn't last too long, but it's enough for what I need. And then some on the side. I also <laughs> I had planned on looking at a tutorial for how to do makeup as well. I feel like when I do my makeup, it's not like, it's smooth, so it definitely doesn't look bad, but I feel like I definitely could like accentuate my features a bit more, like you see with the makeup gurus. So I need to get on that and try and figure out some tips on how to like, kind of get my uh, makeup look a bit better than what it's actually looking like right now, but the hair is good, so I'm gonna go ahead and head upstairs and get dressed. I would just
here is my mirror all set up. I am definitely liking the way it looks a whole lot better than my last mirror. It's slim, but it looks really, really good in this space, I feel like. And it still allows the, the sunlight to come through the window on both sides of the curtain, unlike my other mirror that I had. So here is my outfit that I'm wearing to the birthday party. I don't plan on, I think it's a jump park, some kind of jump park, but um, I'm not planning on jumping. But I've got on these Amber Crombie pair of jeans that I bought last fall, I want to say, um, or last spring. I've got on my trusted boots. And then this is a new top that I got from Kohl's. I was debating on tucking this in and then wearing a belt, but I think it is fitted enough. I'm just going to go ahead and just leave it out. But... I'm liking how everything looks. Hey guys, so we are in tote now. We're all in the car. We are running 10 minutes late per usual, but I think we'll get there on time because we were kind of um, trying to leave a little bit earlier. So I think I'll end up working out. But I've got my new water jug. I probably will be drinking Diet Coke right now, but with these Invisalign, I'm just, the only thing I can drink with them in is water. Um, I guess that's a good thing anyway, because I shouldn't be drinking Diet Coke, but it is what it is. So I've got that, I've got my new bag and it matches my outfit really well today. So I looked up the place, it's about like 45 minutes away. It's very similar to like the sky zone that we have here. So it's like a trampoline park, but they have other activities and whatnot for the kids. So the party is from 12.30 to two. And then after we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and head back to our place, kind of, or my work, um, and just visit my mom for a bit and just have her um, see the kids and hang out with them for a little bit. She has therapy today, so I'm hoping that her therapy will already be over by the time we get back. <laughs> shenanigans so the party started at 12 30 and i thought it ended at 2 30 but she had the room reserved until three o'clock but it was kind of funny kind of not but three boxes of pizza came out and there were 17 kids and then give or take there were like two sets of parents per kids and my friend was like no we definitely had two more boxes of pizza that we ordered so apparently three came with the party reservation and then she ordered two more and those pizzas took forever. So we obviously had the kids eat first and then the adults just waited until the last two boxes of pizza came out and then we ate. But all in all, it was really fun. It was just nice. I love parties like this where the kids can just go, get their energy out and just run around and everything. So it's very similar to the trampoline park that we have here in our neck of the woods. Um, ours is like you go up and then um, there are steps and then there's like the whole bouncy area. Theirs is more flat, which I really like because I kind of feel like it gave me like a better, um, a better perspective on keeping eyes on my kids instead of having to like walk up and down steps and try and figure out where they were. So that was nice. They had a great time. The birthday girl, her actual birthday is today. So Skylar, happy sixth birthday. Um, but yeah, so she had a good time. And then um, afterwards, I fell asleep in the car, guys. And um, I did change my mind. If you guys saw on the footage that I was actually jumping with my daughter there. And after we left, so I fell asleep in the car. And then we drove straight to my work to see my mom. Um, did her laundry yesterday, so I wanted to drop off some things for her just so she has some fresh stuff to wear um, tomorrow until I got back into work on Monday. Um, so I saw my brother there and his wife there, 
But we're back at the house now and there's not really much that we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be finish, finishing up some laundry, making my grocery list. Hopefully, if it's not too late, try and plan a grocery pickup because I don't plan on being at the grocery store tomorrow if I can help it. I don't wanna go in there and shop, especially, oh, I don't think I told you guys. So Aldi has like self checkout now, so, I feel already stressed enough trying to get all my groceries down the um, line. You know how they bag them really, really fast. So I feel stressed at doing that, bagging my own groceries. And then on top of that now, like half the store now is like self-checkout. I'm like, Aldi, like, why are you doing this to me? I have no idea. So if I can, I'm definitely gonna be doing the grocery pickup tomorrow if I can. I don't care if I have to do it like in the afternoon, I don't wanna go in the store if I don't have to. So um, I'm not cooking tonight, we have leftovers. Um, and then Peyton and I just plan on chilling later on today. Uh, maybe after the kids go to bed, we are gonna watch. We've already seen The Fellowship of the Ring, that's the first one. And I think tonight we're just gonna be watching The Tower of Two, is that what it's called? What? The Tower of Two. Two Towers. Two Towers. Two Towers, two towers. very easy. Towers. We're gonna watch Two Towers, have some mixed rings and just relax. Um, and then yeah, that's it for the evening and tomorrow at some point, I'll just come back on here and catch up with you guys. Good morning guys, it is the next day and <laughs> it is daylight savings. I hate daylight savings. So we sprung forward at midnight and not only that, I fell asleep during last night's movie. I can't even tell you what time I went to bed last night. I wanna say maybe like 12, to 1 a.m. I don't know. All I know is my husband woke me up, the movie was over, and then I told him that I would be upstairs um, in like five minutes and probably an hour went by, I don't know. But um, I went upstairs and he was snoring and he was already fast asleep anyway, so. But um, I can't tell you how the movie was because <laughs> I fell asleep while we're watching it. But me and hubby are conquering and dividing thing one is in the back right there so she's going with me for a few errands and then elijah is going with his dad to the hardware store and because i just kind of sat around um this morning since i didn't get enough sleep i have to hit up like three stores before harper has her soccer game at like 3 45 so at the very latest we need to leave the house by like 3 20. So I'm heading to Target now, I have to do that, and then I need to do some returns to Amazon. And I'm splitting up those returns because I told you guys I get, or anyone for that matter, gets like $5 for returns um, for Amazon through Kohl's. So I'm just gonna hang on to my other two returns and take those back at a different day so that way I can get five more dollars. So that's the trick to it. So I have that to do, and then I have to go to ShopRite to get a few things that I can't get from Aldi when I go there to do my main grocery haul. So we need to move quickly and get all this stuff done, and hopefully we can get back home with enough time. I have a few things that I wanna show you um, after I get them from Target. But yeah, today's just gonna be a chill day. Well, maybe not really a chill day because I have cleaning to do that I did not get a chance to do. So I have the bathroom to do, Elijah's room, vacuuming. So a lot of stuff that likely just will not get done today. So it is what it is. Hey everyone, so we just finished at Target. It took me a little bit longer in there than I wanted to, but then again, I did spend some time just looking around. They have really cute Easter stuff right now. I went ahead and Harper, show them your drink. We stopped at Smoothie King to get Harper a little treat. So I keep telling you, it's nice coming on the errands with me, isn't it? <laughs> I try and make it a little bit nice for them to give them like little treats and stuff when they come out with me. So we got her a kid's chocolate at Smoothie King and I wanted to get something, but I didn't want to have to bother with taking out my retainer. So we are at Aldi now to pick up our groceries. It's two o'clock, so we're good on time. If I can get in and out of here quickly, I'm hoping to be able to get to Amazon, not Amazon, to Kohl's to do my Amazon return. So we'll see.
Hey guys, I'm back at the house now. I did not get a chance to go to Kohl's. I'm getting ready to do a separate grocery haul. I don't wanna include it in this one because I feel like the video is just gonna to be too long anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got from Target. All right guys, so here is my small little Target haul. I cannot believe that just this little stuff cost me $112. I did have a $5 gift card that I was able to use. So the first thing that I got is this laundry basket for the kids, the one that I had was just breaking apart and the kids were just pulling on it. So I decided to get one that I feel like is not gonna get messed up. This was either 20 or $22. The only thing that I wanna do is get a liner for the inside. I also got loofahs and I got four different colored ones. So that way we're not like mixing up each other's. My daughter picked up this juicy watermelon. She wants to do a face mask with me later on tonight. I picked up these wet ones. My plan is to put them into like small Ziploc bags so that way the kids can wipe their hands and get it nice and clean before they have their lunch. I know that my son does it before he has his lunch at his preschool, but I'm not quite sure if my daughter has access to like washing her hands before she eats lunch. So this will be good. We ran out of our honey pot. So I got this for the shower and then this is just for using the bathroom. All of us pretty much use this. This is nice to have to stay fresh and clean. And this is a black owned business. So I love picking these up. We use the Vaseline brand, the Cocoa Radiant Lotion and we're all out or almost close to being all out. So I got one for me and hubby, one for um, each of the kids. And my husband does not like like scented stuff, but I do. So it's like a compromise here and there. I get these every once in a while. This is from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. This is the Pompous and it smells so good. It's room spray. So I can spray this all over our rooms or like the sofas and whatnot. I also picked up some chapstick. I don't know what it is, but I think I told you guys that EOS ones that we have tons of just do not work well on my lips. And we now found that my daughter's lips also like they start just to get more chap with them. So I picked up more of these chapsticks. I'm gonna keep one for myself and then give one to each of the kids. So, yep, this is my small little Target haul. I'm gonna go ahead and scan my receipt into my Fetch app. So a little update, after I showed you guys the Target haul, we had to book it, guys. Harper had her soccer game. It was her last indoor soccer game of the season, which they ended on a great note. They won the game three to one, and I think Harper scored two goals, I wanna say the first goal and then the third goal. As soon as we came home, I know I've been telling you guys, I've been showing you guys, it's been maybe like two weeks now. I finally, I finally tackled Elijah's room. I told him earlier on today for him to try and clean up as much as he can. So he did as much as he can, but as you guys know, there was still stuff everywhere under the bed. So I wanted to show you guys after working on it for an hour, what it looks like. So I know you guys remember what his room looked like. It was an absolute hot mess. This is the result after an hour. We've got everything organized, dug everything out from underneath his bed, made his bed, put his stuffies on top of it, and then this is what the desk area is looking at right now. What's wrong? I messed up the books. Okay, I'll come help you in a minute. Here is what his desk area looks like. And I only took like a minute to do this, but I added distilled vinegar with Dawn soap and it got like a good 90% of all the marks and stuff that he had on his desk, which I'm so happy about. This gray area just was a different story. Nothing was coming out, but I did go in here. We got rid of stuff that he didn't want and organized it. And it looks a whole lot better than what it did before. I'm so happy. Do you want to say hello to the vloggy vlog? Miss, I won my last soccer game. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys, while I was out, our clock that we had before was not working, so Peyton surprised me with a new one. This one kind of has like the farmhouse kind of look to it. I love the gray and the beige color, and I think it just fits right in. I am in love with it. Peyton, where is this from again? It's from Lowe's. It's from Lowe's. I'm, Lowe's, okay. Lowe's has this whole like- Home decor, decor area? Like the hall chunk, like- there's some really nice things there. It like, looks it looks really good. And then over here, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. We're having pork chops. Chef Boy R. Peyton is in the mess. <laughs> is in the kitchen cooking it up. I cleaned I cleaned everything up midday, and I'll have to do it again. You are gonna not. I'm, I'm gonna sure later on this sure. evening. So all right. all right, guys. So I'm just gonna sit down for a little bit and relax. Maybe read a little bit. 
or get on some YouTube for a bit until it's time to put dinner together. I still have a few things to do. I have the kids' lunches to do and I have their hair to do since it's Sunday. I'm kind of glad it's daylight savings because um, I miss having to do all that. It's still nice and bright outside. So yeah, um, I'm happy about that, but I'm just so glad that Elijah's room is done and that's not an eyesore anymore to look at. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. Cause baby, I love you. Why you trying to break us up? I'm trying to build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Dinner was really good. The pork chops that we ate tonight were actually ones that I picked up from a like meat place like down the road from us we had that during Peyton's birthday we had steaks actually and then I was able to get a few free products because I was a new customer so that was really good I was telling Peyton the pork chops actually tasted a little bit thicker than what I've made before so I think maybe it was like a different cut or something I don't know but it was really good per usual the kids did not really like what we had for dinner I don't know if it was the pork chops or the rice or the green beans I don't know but to me it was a 10 out of 10 so tomorrow I think we're supposed to have spaghetti and meatballs so we try and rotate things for them so that way we like something um, and then they like something so tomorrow is definitely their day for their meal the kids are already now done their bath I went ahead and washed Harper's hair bathed her and then Peyton went ahead and took care of Elijah for me so we're just winding down now finishing up our ice cream and getting ready for bed I meant to try to get the kids off to bed earlier with the spring forward in time that we had but that just didn't happen um but anywho if you guys did enjoy the vlog please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one